Hey guys, I bought the cheapest 110 scale hobby grade crawler car that I could find. But is the total waste of money or is it actually pretty good? This will surprise you. So guys, in today's video we've got an awesome car to look at and this one is made by HB Toys. So in my quest to find the cheapest hobby grade 110 scale crawler car, I came across this one. And this looks pretty promising. So I paid only 120 bucks for this car and I'm very curious to see if this is just total junk or maybe it's actually pretty good. So you've got a couple of different body types, so this is the pickup version but you also have got uh, the Land Rover and the Toyota versions. But I thought you know, let's do a pickup this time. So I'm curious to see if this is just actually worth the money or it's total junk so let me get everything out of the box so i can show you what's inside there Inside the box you will find the car, the transmitter, we've got some instructions, a spare body clips, a USB charger and we've got a 1500 milliamp lithium ion battery. So the first thing that I'm noticing that this car is pretty small, so they advertise it as being a 110 scale but this is definitely not a 110 scale. So this is more like a 111 scale or something like that, so let me grab another one to show you the size difference. Here it is next to a 110 scale and as you can see it's quite a bit smaller and I think that's a bit annoying. So the electronics inside there is for a 110 scale so we've got a 540 motor, we've got a decent sized server inside there. But the car itself is just too small to being a 110 scale so that's a bit annoying. But let's put this aside and let's have a closer look at the transmitter. This is the transmitter and it runs on 4 AA's, so on the box is written that the AA's are included, but unfortunately it isn't. So I put some rechargeables in there, so now it's all functional. So the build qualities feel very very sturdy and I really like that. So it's not capable of one and driving and that's a big downside in my opinion. So right over here is your throttle trim, your steering trim, your on off switch and we've got a light control. And this is your reverse button for your steering trim. And that's all to say about it. So let's have a closer look at the car. And here is the car guys, what do you think of the appearance? Well appearance wise, I think that this car really looks awesome. And remember I paid only 120 bucks for this car. And just look at all the separate pieces and details which they have added to this car. So appearance wise already, I like this car. So in the front you will find the separate plastic front bumper and the front grille right over there. So we've got some LEDs sitting right over there. We've got an LED bar on the top of the car and we've got even LEDs in the rear of the car. So here you can see the rear bumper which is also a separate piece. So we've got molded wheel arches, we've got some mirror sidestep, even some wipers. So appearance wise this car already looks amazing in my opinion. So the wheels, the tires are just simple tires so there are no foams inside there. But the rims are looking pretty promising. So one thing I'm noticing already, so this is just a Phillips screw and that's a big downside. I really would like to have seen that this is just a normal hex adapter for example. But this is like just like the screw on and yeah I don't like that. So let's have a close look underneath the car. Underneath the car everything is made of plastic, so we've got a falling setup in the front and in the rear, but one thing I noticed is that we've got a lot of play inside the linkages and that's a big downside. But I think that you can easily solve that by putting some spacer in between the linkages and the connection points, because this is just too much play in my opinion. So we've got a metal drive shaft sitting right over there, we've got some metal cups over there, but the cups inside the gearbox are plastic again. We do have partially ball bearings inside this car, we've got an extra mounted servo sitting right over there with the servo saver on there so that looks pretty promising so the suspension is just too solid in my opinion so these shocks are just too stiff and the wheels are already hitting the fenders is, uh, do you see that so that's a big downside and especially in the front so when i try to compress this one the wheel is hitting the front bumper and yeah that's a big downside in my opinion but let me get the body off and show you what's under there 
When you remove the body, just pay attention to the little wires for the light connectors. So inside the body you'll find some inner fenders, which is great for the price point of this car. So underneath the body you will find this setup. So this is your 2-in-1 receiver ESC combination, we've got a T-plug on there, and we've got 3 little connectors for the lights, and this is your 5 wire servo connector. And that's a big downside in my opinion. I would like to have seen a 3 wire servo so you can upgrade the servo yourself. So this is your 540 motor, which is actually a pretty decent size for a car of this size. So that's a thumbs up for me. As I mentioned, the suspension is just too solid in my opinion. And we've got some adjustable colors right over there. But yeah, if you tension those, it gets even harder. So yeah, that's not very useful in my opinion. But let's put on a battery and show you when it's on. The car is powered on and here you can see all the lighting system. So the steering servo has got plenty of speed, but it doesn't have got any power. Just look at this guys. This is just terrible. And just look at the steering angle. This is, only, this is already the max steering angle. This is just terrible. And that's only because we've got a little plastic part sitting right over there which is hitting the axle. Of course we can do some modifications, but straight out of the box, you know, this thing is just terrible. So yeah, throttle wise, this is full throttle. Whoa, we've got a very big delay. Just look at this. Yeah, so let's see if we can get over something. Well, this works fine, but we do have got some delay inside the throttle, so yeah, it is what it is. So for now, there's only one thing left to do, and that's take it outside for a spin. So guys, we're outside on the test course, and let's see how this car performs. So here we go, this is the first obstacle, and he did it without any problems. This is the second obstacle that we are going to do, and one thing I'm noticing already is that this car has got a lot of wheel speed. So I think that this is not a real rock crawler, this is more like a trail truck I think. But let's see if we can get up these obstacles. So the tires are pretty grippy, and yeah, these are not the softest compound, but they are very grippy. And until now it does a pretty good job, but let's see if we can get up this one. So here we go. Now let's see how this car performs when driving over some big boulders. So here we go. I tried to do it as slow as possible. But yeah, the wheel speed is just a little bit too much to be a real crawler car. But let's see if we can manage to get over here. Do you see it jumping? Oh, and the steering angle on this car is just terrible. But let's see if I can manage to get over here. Of course, with a lot of wheel speed we can. But let's see if we can... Do something better than this. Yeah, well the steering servo is just terrible on this car. So, oh, here it goes. This is one of my most difficult obstacles here on the test course. So let's see if we can get this car up here. So I tried to manage the throttle, but it's a bit difficult. But here we go. So far, so good. Oh, now it's struggling a bit. But let's find a different line. Or maybe some wheel speed. Oh, here it goes. Is he going to make it? That would really surprise me. No, he's going off the edge. Or oh, can we do it? Can we do it? Oh no, tumble wumble. Let's give it one more try to see if we can manage to get up here. So a little bit faster wheel speed maybe. Just try to avoid that big gap over there. Oh no, no, he's not going to do it. So guys, this is where this car belongs, just on the gravel and on the grass for example. So this is not a real rock crawler, this is more a little bit of everything. Just an all around playing car and yeah, doing that, you can have tons of fun with this car. So it drives alright, but the steering servo is just terrible on this car. So yeah, I really hate that part. So this car reminds me onto the MN82 I think it was, or the 1A2, or no, uh, I'm not sure, but I will put the link down below to that review video. And I think that this is like a similar car to that one. And maybe the MN1 is, yeah, more capable than this one and more fun to drive, but that's maybe an opinion. Yeah, so this is, yeah, it's fun to drive, but it's not like a real quality car. So for now I will just give you some driving footage and then I will come back to you with my final thoughts about this car.
So guys, that was the driving with this car. And what do I think of it? Well, appearance-wise, I really like this car. This car really looks amazing. All the small details which they have added to this car. You know, the lighting system. We even got some inner fenders inside this car. So appearance-wise, that's just a thumbs up for me. Performance-wise, well, they sell this to be a rock crawler. But this is not a rock crawler, you know. This is more like an all-round playing car. And being an all-round car, this is just great. But being a rock crawler, this sucks, you know. Uh, one thing what I really hate about this car is the steering servo so the steering servo is just terrible in my opinion i really don't like that so if you buy this car you should do some small modifications to yeah make it a little bit better than factory off and the first thing you need to do is the shocks you know just cut one or two coils off because the shocks or the tension on this one is just too much for the weight of this car so that's the first mod the other mod that you should do is yeah put some spaces in between the linkages because we have got a lot of play inside there as you can see another thing is the steering angle so if you look over here this little plastic part is hitting the yeah the, the axle already so cut a little bit away of the plastic and they will have a better steering angle so yeah that are just small modifications which you should do and another small thing is just cut a little bit away of this uh, the front bumper because the wheels are hitting the front bumper but yeah when you do that and yeah being considered to be like an all-round playing car then you can have tons of fun with it but buy this uh, to be a rock crawler and yeah you will be disappointed all right guys that was it for today thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel if you got any questions or suggestions leave a comment below and i will see you in the next video bye bye